can also hook it so it can be cross. My favourite, my favourite, I wear these a lot since I got it. I don't like speaking ill of this brand. Hey guys, so today's video I'm finally reviewing Savage X Fenty. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long. I promised this video about a year ago, almost a year and a half ago I think. I've been putting it off because I did not want to be showing my boobs on camera. I decided that rather than show you a lot of the pieces, I will just show you all the bras, I'll show you the undies, and then I'll show you on my body the leggings, um, because that's just what I feel comfortable with, and at the end of the day, it's my channel, I should do what I feel comfortable with. I have so much respect for people like Royal Beauty Christie, who have the confidence in their body to show their bra on camera without like a little slip or anything over the top. I tip my hat to them because literally I just don't have the confidence to do that. So instead, um, let me show you all of the bras and stuff that I got and about the IP subscription service. So let's get into the video. First thing I need to talk to you about is the VIP service, I think. If you want to just see all the bras and undies and stuff like that, I will put a timestamp so that you know where to skip to. What it means to be a VIP is that you are subscribed and you can skip the month, which basically means that you still get a discount on all of the prices all over the website. So you get a preferential price to someone who is buying as a guest or for the first time. It's around, I think, 20 to 25% off. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it on the screen because I literally can't remember. I had the subscription service and what it does is if you don't skip the month, it will take £50 out of your bank account. But all that means, similar to Fabletics, it means that you have £50 available to spend and then anything over that so if you spend for instance 70 quid you're just deducted from your bank account an additional 20 pounds instead of the full 70. I will say the last time that I was using my account just before I wanted to cancel I could not use my 50 pounds which was not automatically deducting from my bill. I tried to phone them and I could not get through. I tried to email them and apparently there's no address so I ended up tweeting them and Thankfully, they got back to me. They asked to private DM me and it got sorted immediately. Cannot thank them enough because that was frustrating the fuck out of me. I was trying to get that money deducted for months because I just thought it was something wrong with the site and I was like, oh, once I've finally done my last order, I will cancel this. I've actually found this new company ca called Blue Bella that I way prefer. There's just so much more on their website that I personally like that's more fitting to my aesthetic. So I prefer that one. I appreciate that they probably have bigger sizes, that they have like more designs that are more like unique and all that kind of stuff. It's just personally not for me. And Blue Bella has my personal size, so I prefer that brand. But anyway, I have a bunch of bra designs. One of my favourite of theirs is like this t-shirt bra design. It's these two little strands in the middle. It has like the two two strands at the back as well. I had to get rid of the tag because the tag was on here and it was just sort of flapping between here. Why did I do that? I've worn this a lot. This, like I said, this is my favorite, but look, this elastic is loads on here as well. I mean, it's a really, really pretty blue bra. This was the most comfortable for me. I found that some of the styles do kind of dig into my side boob area, kind of like here. I also have a black one. I thought this black one was really pretty because it looks pretty plain in the front except for scalloping on the bottom. And then on the back you have these really pretty like lace. You can also hook it so it can be cross basically across the back. It's really, really gorgeous. I've got this one size too small because some of these cups like the problem with being a 34 double D is that sometimes the cup is way too big and it feels like I'm swamped by the cup. And so sometimes I need to get a 34 D, but then sometimes the 34 D is too small. I had to kind of figure out which one I was. It doesn't, it doesn't fit the greatest. I also find that it's kind of like this part here. The underwire for this one, for, for whatever reason, feels like it literally digs in to me. So it's just, personally, I just don't think it's the most comfortable. It's very pretty, it's very flattering. It's probably more to be taken off than to be worn. <laughs> this was like a push-up, and to be fair, push-ups, I tend to get 34 double Ds and not 34 Ds, so I don't know what I was thinking. But I loved this like army green kind of colour, it's my favourite colour. It also has that same lace at the back, although this is not one of the ones that clips. Really nice 
push-up bra. Very soft material. And then I have some of my favourite ones because they don't have underwire. <laughs> so I have this one which is almost like a workout kind of thing. It's like neon yellow green. I really like. Uh, the only thing is, again, I had to get this in a medium because the large would be way too big for me. I do feel like I'm moments where nip slip. But obviously I don't wear this anywhere but at home because it doesn't have an underwire. I don't feel comfortable leaving my house without underwire but i mean it's it's really comfy really it's a really nice material i don't have anything bad to say about it at all and it still has the adjustable straps which is good i then have a little like bralette which again has no underwire so it's nice and comfy cute little option i think scalloped edging which is really nice and lastly for bras i'm sorry i'm probably boring the hell out of you which is my favorite this i actually got last funnily enough and i got it in, so i got it in gray it has like the crossover at the back these are still adjustable i just think this is like sultry than bralette to me i like it for undies i only got a few nude kind of pair I like the idea of it not having anything to like cinch in too much because like i said i'm currently slightly overweight um so anything that like cinches in too much can be very unflattering for me this is like better for bodycon kind of dresses because it has like that almost naked button finish for the leg and for the top material very soft however this one as you can probably tell this one does have like like i said this stuff like really it just isn't flattering for someone of my size i don't think they've tried with this kind of part here again there's another one of those i either get this size or i get one that swamps me so um but it's nice material it like the elastic, I haven't had any issues with it. It's got scalloped edging again. It's pretty. I like the naked ones. I, I do like this kind of colour. Obviously, it's not my flesh skin tone. Same kind of material as the first one. Just slightly darker and more like a brief. I love, like, girl boxes. So I thought this would be really nice. But this goes up so high to be flattering that it don't look that good on me. I don't wear it that often, but... You know, I, I like the pattern and everything, that's really nice. Rather it was a girl boxer than my, like a wife front. My favourite, my favourite, I wear these a lot since I got it. Again, this was one of the last ones I got and they finally did one that I liked. So again, I have got that kind of um, savage print all over it. But these kind of like lace ones like, are so much nicer because they hug the body so much nicer. They're so pretty, really soft, like cotton soft. Made in Sri Lanka, who knew? Yeah, made out of cotton. I prefer cotton ones, apparently. These kind of like lace ones are like forever my favourite. I have, I have not used these yet. I did something cheap <laughs> and I saw these like thigh highs and I thought these would be a nice difference to, to tights. They do unfortunately have this garish, I didn't realise this when I bought it, but I think I got them for a fiver in the sale, to be honest. But the, the stickiness does seem to be pretty sticky. Feel pretty soft for tights, like, feel pretty nice. Which is good. I hate a scratchy type. We're almost done. So the top I have, I got this as like a workout top. It's like a little vest top with the savage tail on it that you'll see on all of the leggings in a minute. I don't wear v-necks very often, so this has become like a workout t-shirt. But I mean, it's it's, it's cute. I like the colour and they do this in loads and loads of colours. It, it's very stretchy. It's a nice material. Lastly, the leggings. I'm currently wearing the black pair, so I can't show you these. But they look exactly the same. The only difference is the colour. So the black ones I'm wearing are exactly the same with this like black and gold waistband as on one side the savage kind of design, the other side does not have it. I got a army green pair, I have the black pair on like I said and then the I got grey pair which are actually my least favourite because they look more like pyjama bottoms than like leggings. It has white with the gold instead and then it has grey and black. What I will say that's nice about Savage is that when you do post on your Instagram stories and tag them, they share it to their stories which is pretty nice. The thing that really frustrates me about these is that you can see because I've worn these a lot less, the band hasn't like curled up. So like with this one you can see that it's kind of, it doesn't stay flush unfortunately. You can see it's rolled around so that's the unfortunate thing but they are comfy i i grab for them all the time which is another reason why i'd like been putting this off because i swear every single time i was going to film this video a pair of these was dirty and in the wash or like literally wet like that top is currently all in all savage fenty is a good company i'm really i really appreciate that they 
have so many sizes that they have so many different skin types and skin tones and body shapes i like i appreciate what rihanna is doing i really really do unfortunately for me i prefer these kind of lingerie now i was really struggling every month to warrant whatever there was on the site that's just my personal preference unfortunately also i feel like 50 pounds 49.95 or something to go out of your account every month is a big amount of money and you I literally i had to try and remember every single month that i have to skip this by this day otherwise i'm going to be deducted 50 quid and i cannot afford that literally i skipped it like the last six months the only reason I had 50 quid still in there is because I'd forgot to skip one month and obviously got deducted. The only unfortunate thing is, as well with these kind of companies, is that once your money's in there, if you forget, it's stuck there. They will not give you that money back. You either buy a shitload of their products with that cash that you've got in there, or you lose the cash. If you like anything I've shown, go ahead, but just be aware that unless you're a VIP member, it is going to be more expensive. The quality is nice. There are certain things that I like. There's some certain things that I don't like as much. I don't like speaking ill of this brand because I know how much good they do. They have so many body types, so many different skin tones, people of all different heights, shapes, sizes, colours. Like, I, I get it. I really do. It's not my aesthetic. Like, I like the leggings, but am I going to spend that much on leggings every single time? No, because otherwise I would have stayed with Fabletics. So this was a very honest review. I'm sorry if you don't agree with me, because I know I'm probably going to get some hate for the fact that, you know, I don't love everything. There's only a few things that I'm like, yes, I love this thing. I'm so glad I got it. The rest of it, I'm just like, it's nice. Do I wear it all the time? No. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you feel like it. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to post twice a week. Um, it's not always style videos. I have a lot of makeup videos, a lot of brand reviews, all that kind of stuff. So if anything like that tickles your fancy, that's probably the wrong term of phrase in a video like this. Please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.